Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another freight locomotive here, and we're going to be building the Chicago Northwestern GP15 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're going to start off on the rear end, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer in the middle, under it a sideways dark oak bench gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom middle, three dark prismarine blocks and an upside down dark prismarine stair facing outward on either side. Above it, five dark prismarine blocks. Then in front of this, do a three block tall T shape in the middle of dark prismarine. Then hang a torch on either side of this second layer. On the outer edge, three quart slabs like this on either side. In front of this, a five by three of dark prismarine coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we'll swing up here. We're gonna put an open fence gate on either side of this coupler. On the top middle, three upside down dark prismarine stairs. Then a mangrove fence gate in the middle and a birch sign on either side. Then we'll move out here. Then in front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, another right wheel on each rail. Then a deep slate tile top slab in the middle. Then we're gonna go five wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs facing forward. Then five right side up stairs. Then we will turn around and do five backward facing stairs. Then in front of this, we'll have to put a temporary block down and we need to get five upside down stairs all facing backwards here. So it makes like this M shape. Then in front of this, another right wheel on each rail. Then a slab in the middle. Then put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. And then two fence gates on the middle of each side of this truck. Then go through and put a hopper on all four another right wheels here. Next, we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on this side, a wither skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then we're gonna come up top on this second layer and do a line of black stone brick blocks right down the middle and come out one block past these fence gates. Then a full row of fence gates on the side of it up here. And same thing over here, a full row of fence gates up here. Then we're gonna come in front of this on the next block forward on bottom and go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block and then make it eight blocks long. So a three by eight on the bottom middle. Then we're gonna put eight upside down black stone brick stairs facing outward on either side of this fuel tank. Then on top of this, we're gonna fill the top middle three wide with black stone brick block and bring it to the front. Then in front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another wheel on each rail and a deep slate tile top slab in the middle. Then five wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs facing forward. And then five wide of right side up stairs facing forward. Then turn around, five right side up backward facing stairs. And then in front of this, get a temporary block and use that to mount five wide of upside down backward facing stairs. So we get that same M shape again. Then we'll put another right wheel on each rail in front of this and a slab in the middle and a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then go through and put a hopper on all four another right wheels. Then two fence gates on the middle of the truck on each side. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing over here. Then we'll come up top with black stone brick block and do a line down the middle till you're aligned with these front fence gates. And then put a full row of fence gates on the side here. And a full row of fence gates on this side. Then we're gonna come stand up here and crouch and put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all four of these hoppers. And then we'll come out here and put a wither skeleton skull above each wheel on both sides. Then come up here and crouch and put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And then one here and one here. 
Then we'll repeat for the back truck, come up here, crouch, put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all four hoppers. Then a wither skeleton skull above the back wheel and the front wheel. Same thing over here. And then crouch again up here and put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And then one here and one right here. Next on the back bottom of this wheel tank, put a string off this stair. And then one on this side off this stair. Then come on the front of the fuel tank, put a skeleton skull on either side like this. Behind it, a mangrove sign on each side. Then we're going to do one sideways dark oak vent skate on either side. And then a line of sideways anvils until it's sticking out over this string here. And then same thing on this side, start over this string and a line of anvils here. Then grab a dark oak trap door on this truck, put four right here and four on this side. Repeat for the back end, so put four here, four here. Then we're gonna move up to the front end, and right in front of this on bottom, we're gonna do a five by three of dark crisp marine blocks coming out to each side. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle. Put a torch on either side of the second layer. On the outer edge, three quartz slabs like this, three on this side. Then in front of this, on the bottom middle, we're going to put three dark prismarine stairs facing forward and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side. Then three upside down stairs on the top middle. Then grab a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then open a fence gate on either side of this a mangrove fence gate on the top middle, and a birch sign on either side. Then actually up here, we're gonna change this block to black wool in this block. Behind that, we're gonna go three wide on this third layer on the middle with polished black stone brick block. And we're gonna bring that all the way across the top to the other end of our locomotive. Then on this top outer edge here, just start in one corner. And we're going to do a full line of dark prismarine top slabs all the way across the top to the front. And repeat on this side and do a full line of dark prismarine top slabs all the way across the top here as well. Then above where this mangrove sign is, put another mangrove sign on the top here. And one here. And then we'll come up front again. Up here on top, on this third block in, do three yellow concrete like this and make it three tall. Then three yellow stained glass panes on each corner here. On this front middle, put a bamboo sign and type CNW. Hit that with green dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna come behind this one block in from the outer edge, two columns of three yellow here, two columns of three here, and three black wool on this top middle. Right here, we're gonna put two yellow stained glass panes in the middle like this. Then down here, two yellow shulker boxes here. And on this side, two yellow shulker boxes here. Then behind this, we're gonna add four dark prismarine on each bottom outside edge. Then on this side only, we're gonna go ahead and add two more dark prismarine on the back right here. Let's start on the front of the dark prismarine. Do five dark prismarine here. Then we're gonna do one on the front here, two redstone blocks, a warp door, and then a backwards door. Then two cyan stained glass panes here, and a dark prismarine with a white stained glass pane here. On top, put four outward facing dark prismarine stairs here. And then, actually I messed this up, these two yellow stained glass panes here need to be two green ones like this. Then on this side right here, we're gonna put a yellow concrete right here, then four dark prismarine. One on top of the back, two redstone blocks, a warp door here, then a forward facing door here. Two stained glass panes here, a dark prismarine here, and four stairs on top. Then fill this whole cab roof between the stairs, all with dark prismarine blocks. Then we're gonna put one on the front center with a green stained glass pane on either side of this. Then we're gonna come down here and crouch and put two green banners over this door to help hide it on the side view. 
and we'll repeat on this side and put two banners over this door to try to hide this one here. Then we're going to come up on this redstone blocks here and we're going to put a dark oak sign here and type Chicago. And next to it another sign with Northwestern. Then we're going to hit both of these with white dye and a glowing sign. Repeat the process on this side. So a dark oak sign here with Chicago. And another sign with Northwestern. Hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack each. Then down here, we're gonna put two bamboo signs on the center here. And then repeat over here and put two bamboo signs on the center right here. And actually I messed up the colors again, changed these three blocks right here to yellow concrete in that pattern. And then we'll replace our door up here. And on this other side, we're gonna put two yellow shulker boxes here. Then we're gonna to move to this back end on the third block in in the middle. And we're gonna go three wide and then five tall with yellow concrete here. Then in front of this on the bottom, one block in from the outer edge, put five yellow shulker boxes on either side. Then in front of this, we're gonna do a line of yellow concrete until it's right up behind the cab here. Then same thing on this side, start here and a line of yellow concrete across here. Between these shulker boxes, put five netherite, then five polished deep slate slabs on top. Then we're gonna come up on this level here and put a row of polished deep slate slabs, five along up here, but then we're gonna knock out this one, this one, and this one. So we have two slabs like this. On top of these, shulker boxes here we're gonna do two rows of five iron bars coming forward and repeat on this side over here and do two rows of five iron bars here then on top of that We'll do a row of five concrete, yellow concrete on each side. Then I messed up the colors here. Take these three top yellow concrete off the back. Then on top of the back here, fill this three wide with dark prismarine to the front of this section. Then we're gonna move up behind the cap here. And on either side, we'll add three yellow concrete here and here. Three dark prismarine across the top. Then put two yellow concrete on the bottom of each side, then an outward facing bamboo stair, two of them, and then two backward facing stairs. Same here, two outward, two backward facing. Cover the top in two rows of three dark prismarine. Then behind this, we're gonna do a column of three yellow concrete here, three here, then one on the bottom, and two outward facing bamboo stairs on either side. Then two rows of three dark prismarine up here. Then across this middle section here, we'll do two layers of yellow concrete and just fill this all in. And same thing here, fill this side too high with yellow concrete. Then we'll put a row of yellow concrete down this top center up here. Then a row of sideways yellow shulker boxes here. And then same thing on this side. And then finally, fill this top middle up here all three wide with dark prismarine blocks to complete the roof line here. Just like that. Now come up on top of the back, start from the rear end, and we're gonna do a line of seven dark prismarine slabs right down the center. And then on the side of it, seven warp trap doors here, seven on this side. Then up here, right behind the cab, we're gonna do a three by three of warp trap doors here. Then knock out this middle block and put in a decorated pot. And then this one for the exhaust. Then come up on top of the cap. On the center here, open a warp pin skate here and a sideways one behind it. Two iron trap doors here. Then there's a little flashing light up here. So right behind the trap doors in the middle, we're going to put a lantern here. Then on this side only, come down here and do a line of bamboo slabs across this till you're above this first back wheel. Then in this corner, put two yellow stained glass panes right here. Now take out black carpet, come right behind these slabs and do a row across this. 
then a T-shape on the back porch, then start here and bring it all the way forward. Then one up here, next come up front, get two on these shulker boxes, then two here, a T-shape on the front, two here, one on this shulker box. We'll also cover the top of this nose in black carpet. Now we'll do our railing, so take a warp fence right here, do a column of four, then back one, up one, back one, up one, back one. Then on this corner, do a column of three, and then over one, and then a two by two right here. Repeat on this side. So right here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up three, over one, and a two by two here. Put a chain across this gap. Then connect your fence up right here, then come up one, back two. Then we'll move to the rear end here. Right here, do a column of four fences. Right here, up three, over one, and a two by two right here. Then repeat on this side, so here, up four. Here, we're gonna come up three, over one, and a two by two here. Then a chain across this gap. Then connect your fence up right here, and bring it forward all the way up this side. And we're gonna come right up to this shulker boxes here, and put one on top of the end right here. Then we'll do some detailing, so we're gonna come up front. Right here, put a glow item frame with a frog light, and also one on this top middle. On either side of it, do a birch sign with our number 4406. Same thing here. Hit them both with a glowing sec each. Then we'll come to the rear end, put a glow item frame with a frog light in the middle here. On either side, a birch sign with 4406. Then a glowing sack on either side. Under this one, two bamboo fence gates and a warp fence gate up here. Then we need to make some banners, so come into a loom with a yellow banner and green dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the right and left, then make the bottom half yellow. Then go back to green dye, put a horizontal in the middle and a vertical on the right. New banner. Vertical on either side, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left, bottom half green, horizontal on top. Go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around all three of these. Then we're gonna place these for the number on the side. And we're gonna have to come stand up on this walkway and crouch so we can put them on these shulker boxes here. And use your banners to put 4406. Right here, like this. And we will, of course, repeat on this side. So come down here and crouch, and use the banners right here to put 4406 on this third shulker box from the back. Just like that. Then we'll do the interior, so come on inside the cap. We can put some frog lights in the bottom for hidden lighting, then take wax oxidized cut copper slabs and fill in this whole floor, like this. In the back middle, two blast furnaces, then a stair here and here for seats, up here, a netherite in the middle with two levers for the control stand. And now the interior is done. Then we have to do the railing I forgot on this side, so come back here and connect a warp fence up right here and bring it forward up this side. Then we're going to come up one, forward one, up one, and forward one. Just like that. Now we have one more banner to make, so come into a loom with a black banner and green dye, put a border on it, and make the bottom half green. This will be for the cab window, so we're going to put one on the back here, and then one on the front of this side here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Chicago Northwestern GP15 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video wherever you can. Everyone have a great week, and stay safe out there, rail fans.